All right, welcome back. So here we are the next day. This is part two, the first part of part two. So um, these boots have been drying overnight, and they're mostly dry. I think they're about 50% dry. I really soaked them last night when I when I washed them. But the inside, I want to make sure that there's no mold anywhere inside, and I want to kill anything that's in there because they did sit out and they were in someone's shed or whatever they were in so so arm and hammer baking arm and hammer baking soda and we're gonna bake in soda and soak the insides of these for a little while and this will this will pretty much disinfect and kill anything that's in there because i can't get a brush all the way up in there i can't see i'm not gonna see i have a boroscope i can't see inside of the shoe so but i am going to go ham on this like I have with everything else with the boots because I want to make sure that they're good to go so I'm going to use a lot of this I want to make sure it's really good and as with everything more is better right baking soda won't harm anything and actually will just disinfect so we're going to Baking soda in like that. Yeah, that's a lot of baking soda. I know. Calm down. Everything's going to be fine. Alright. Step one complete. So we'll just fill this up. I'm going to shake this around in here real good. So you can see in the boot, maybe. I don't know if the camera can see that or not. Is that real good? And All right, so that boot's full. around. And then there's that. So we've got two really full boots. I'm gonna leave them here in the in the tub for a little bit. Make sure that they get Soaked. You don't need to let them soak for too long. You do need to let them soak, but not for forever. Obviously, that's not very good for the boots. But the water's coming out a little bit and starting to come out of the well a little bit, as it will, as you can expect. So when these are done soaking, I'm going to soak them for probably 30 minutes, and then uh, I'll dump them out and I'll give them a real good wash down. Make sure they're they're clean inside like i said i am going to oil the inside of the boots on these because they are so stiff and so um so dry uh, but i did scrub them out yesterday as best i could with the brushes and we'll see what happens i think this baking soda they they smell musty they smell like like grandma's house or something i, I can't explain it it's hard to explain uh, my grandmother's house when she passed away I was given some of her her things and all of her things smelled like an old musty house these boots smell exactly like that so to avoid that in the near future um, I'm going to take care of that um, I'm, when I put the open offs on the open off smells like new car smell to me uh, it's about the best thing I can equate it to so um, new car smell is I mean, I don't mind the smell of new car smell. Open offices smells really good to me, and hopefully these boots will, will have that going on. But I'm going to move the camera over here a little bit so you can see it running out of the boots. So that's coming out of the boots right now. That's starting to leak out of the boots a little bit. So I don't know. 
what all that is and hopefully it's it's all the the demons leaving these boots um, but hopefully we'll uh, we'll have a good result from this stay tuned all right well I've let these soak for almost an hour and you see what's coming out of them so we're gonna do a we're gonna cut the boots out and see what pops out of here. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> oh. Yeah. stitching because of the stuff that was leaching out of them. So I'll give these a real good rinse. Let's still see what's coming out of them. So I'm sure that whatever socks I wear with these the first couple of times I wear them is gonna be it's gonna be a real hoot. Most likely probably ruin the socks. But that's alright. I could buy new socks. the the black color of the leather and then got a little bit of brown that came out of that I don't know what that was all about I'm not sure exactly where the brown came from whether it was like something just in the boot or what but uh, yeah so pretty 
pretty nasty stuff. Thanks for watching. All right, so we're back with the boots. Uh, my shoes untied because I tried to start this video a couple of times. I keep getting interrupted. Now, the update is in the previous clips you've seen in this video, because I'm splicing these together, you saw me putting the baking soda in. So I used a whole box of baking soda, 50-50 in each boot of that. So they cleaned up really nice in the sink. I hit them with the saddle soap first, and then I hit them with the I just used straight up Dawn dish detergent on them because they were just so bad. Uh, and I just, the saddle soap just wasn't doing the job. They were so bad they needed, they needed more help than that. And then moved on to the baking soda video where you saw the stuff running out of them. Um, and I'm about to take these boot, this left boot off and you can, you probably, I don't know if you will see it very well in the video, but the condition of my sock is going to be interesting because the the dye from the the boot the black dye from the boot actually gets on the socks pretty bad but oh yeah you can see it and it's a little brown and discolored on the bottom this is all supposed to be gray <laughs> and it's it's gotten it pretty good so what i have been doing with the boots since the washing them in the sink is I wash them in the sink, I let them dry overnight, I put them on a boot dryer, a peat boot dryer, normal boot dryer, let them sit for 24 hours on the boot dryer. Once they got dry, pulled them off the boot dryer and I oiled them. And I use Obanoff's oil and I went real heavy with it. And I did every square inch of the boot. I pulled the, the lineman patch back. And by the way, these are these are the uh, the, line, the regular Wesco lineman boots without the steel toe. These are not the Firestormers. Um, they were labeled incorrectly on eBay. And once I got them here, I got on the Wesco web, website, really took a good look at them. These are the lineman boots. Um, so they're not the Volt Foe, but they're just the normal lineman boots. But I scrubbed them as best I could that day, got the baking soda going on, and I've oiled them. I've oiled them heavy three times, and every day... And I've been wearing them. So I washed them. The next day I got up and I soaked them again with a baking soda. Um, and then I put them on the boot dryer. So I'm sorry, I was a little out of order. Once that was done, I let them dry completely for 24 hours. And then I started, then I oiled them heavy three good soaking times. I soaked every inch of this. And all of this was very stiff. The insole was very stiff. I, in, I oiled inside and out. I actually dribbled oil very heavily to let it soak into the footbed of the boots. Um, all of this was very stiff. This is I've been wearing them every day since, all day long. I put them on and I just suffered with them. Um, I didn't wear them wet. I just oiled them, let them dry overnight with the oil, and then would get up in the, in the morning and put them on and wear, just wear them all day. And all of this area right here is really, really soft now. It's getting really soft. It's not bleeding, bleeding off of my hands or anything. And uh, overall, it's just breaking in really nice. Um, I scrubbed all of this. You can see a little bit of the color change there. I scrubbed all of the, uh, all of this leather and the heel stack and all that. I scrubbed that really well. And uh, I keep oiling it. I've oiled all of that. So, again, when I take them off at night now that I've been wearing them, I oil the ankles, the outside of the ankles, and here at the at the bend by the toe, and uh, anywhere else where I see a, a crease or a possible bend point, I oil them up because they were they were so dry, they were so crispy when I got them. I want to make sure that I'm not I'm not inadvertently missing something, and I there's a dry spot I I'm not getting. But I oiled the welt, and the inside here was for some reason extremely extremely dry so but they're coming along nicely got the leather laces in there these are from another pair of boots the jk boots that i'm going to make a video on um, i got those in and i ended up sending them back so not any kind of a fault really with jk per se the customer service is amazing had an issue with the boots called them mailed them back sent me a they sent me a label 
and I sent them right back, and they're, actually, I think they're, I got a, a shipment notification that they're on their way back to me already. Um, I shipped them on the 13th, they got there on the 15th, and they're already on the way back to me, so, and I think today's the 19th. Uh, I don't know. The dates run together when you work from home in COVID. But, uh, so yeah, um, I did get on the Wesco website when I was doing the research for these boots to figure out which pair of boots I actually had. Turns out that I did have the Lyman boots. And uh, I ordered a set of false tongues and the 11, the size 11 insoles. Because these do not have an insole in them. I've been wearing them without the insole. And I think that's been part of the punishment um, since they have been so stiff. But they have started to mold to my feet already, wearing them all day. Uh, this is day three or four. I think four. It's day four of me wearing these boots every day with the whole thing. And it, these boots are already getting more and more comfortable than they than they started for sure. They were so stiff and they were the, the leather inside the boots was just very, very, very dried out and just hard packed. Um, so I've been doing my best to suffer through and take the take the the aching calves and a little bit into my so my knees have been a little bit sore, which is that's getting better as well. But I've been wearing good. These are Dickies boot socks I bought at Walmart. These are they're. Uh, over the calf length boot socks and they these have helped tremendously so it's it's getting better again you can see the discoloration on the sock from the bottom and where it's just been bleeding as i've been wearing them and sweating and whatnot these did smell like my grandma's musty old house when i first got them uh, but since i've been oiling them with the open offs they smell like new car smell that's what it's the best way i could equate open offs oil the smell of open offs but they do stain Let's see if they they stain the inside of these pants um yeah you can see they stain the inside of these pants from wearing them so all the way across so these these boots were very very dirty i don't know i don't know what kind of environment they were stored in before i bought them but they were not very well cared for at all um but i did buy the insoles so i'm gonna be i'll do a video putting that stuff in putting the false tongue in. i'll go and do the laces and do the false tongue and everything else but again all of this is getting really soft and supple again it's actually really comfortable on my leg it was very stiff the first day as you can imagine but uh let me let me uncork some open offs real quick and i'll oil them up right here on camera and uh, other than, and I've almost used a whole, this bottle is about three quarters of the way full when I started oiling these boots and it's almost gone. That's how much oil I put on these boots. Um, but bringing back boots from the dead is kind of oil intensive. But, uh, but I, every night I've been just, Hit them with a little bit of oil here in the ankle. Making sure I hit the ankle all the way around. Get real real tough on the back stay. And again, anywhere there's a crease, try to hit that really well. Up here at the toe. But the amount of oil that I put on these boots has helped tremendously. Um, I was afraid... After I washed them and I let them dry overnight before I put the baking soda in them, I was afraid that the boots were going to be too far gone. And I don't know if you can tell on camera. I'll get that a little closer. But it's already starting to soak in. Um, these boots drink this oil as fast as you can put it on there. They were just so dry and crispy. Um, but, but they, they're turning into a very comfortable pair of boots, which again, I was very surprised. I was afraid that they were a lost cause. It's already starting to, to soak in all the way around. 
Um, the first time I oiled them, once they were fully dry after the baking soda treatment and everything, they, I went real, real heavy with it and it, it soaked it up. If I had some Obanoff's LP, the leather protectant, I think that probably would have been a better, better way to go, but I didn't have any. And I wanted to get these boots oiled before. Because um, I ordered some off of Amazon, but it's just not here yet. And I wanted to make sure I got these boots oiled and I started wearing them. Get them broke in a little bit, to me at least. But these are already forming to my foot. So I think this is day four that I've been been really working these boots i've done a bunch of work on my truck in these boots i was intentionally doing a bunch of stuff to make sure i was on my feet as much as possible wearing these boots um, doing some activities so i could get some get my feet warm and get them you know the more you sweat the more moisture you can introduce to the boot as you're breaking them in the better off they're going to be the faster they'll mold to you and uh that's what you want. So I've been doing a lot of activities. I didn't go, I didn't go running a mile in them or anything, but I definitely stayed on my feet and worked in the garage. And I did a lot of cleaning in my garage. So cleaned out a bunch of, uh, cleaned up after working on my truck. Been doing injectors and trying to bring that thing from the dead, back from the dead. And it required a lot of work and a lot of effort. So many hours out there in the garage on my feet really helped. And it's been warm here. So obviously big thick leather boots help that quite a bit. And I haven't really been worried about where I'm getting the oil at um, as far as like, oh, I got it on the laces. They're leather laces. They're, they'll, they'll do just fine with with that. And I don't really care about the hardware getting oil on it either. It's just uh, less opportunity for it to rust, I suppose. But um, yeah, it's... These boots are drinking it in as fast as I can get it on there. Um, <clears throat> the heel stack was very dry, and this the shank area has, is very dry, so I oil that quite a bit, too. Um, I'm just trying to make sure that if these boots can be saved, they, that they are saved. Um, I haven't really been anywhere in the boots as far as like out and about per se. So I can't say I've gotten a lot of compliments on them, but I like them and that's all that matters. So, but again, I think the, uh, the amount of discoloration I see on my socks, um, and I had a couple sore spots with these as well. I had, uh, I didn't have any hot spots on my feet because these are an 11 E. So they're a fairly wide boot, but I did have, my feet felt like they had some sore muscles in them, and I had a couple, after I took them off the first day or two, I had a couple of, a couple little cramps in, in my feet, like uh, up here in this area, and uh, so that was a little uncomfortable, but it wasn't anything unbearable, so, but this is the left boot, I just oiled it. That heel stack, but you can see already where the oil's already soaked into the boots. And I just oiled this, what, five minutes ago. So they're, these boots are, they're drinking it up pretty good. So hopefully, if I can keep the oil going, keep them, keep them worked in, it'll be, they'll turn out to be a really great pair of boots. There's no telling when, uh, when they'll stop marking my socks up I got a here's a white sock so you can see how bad that it marked up my socks you can see it just how discolored it is and it's got a little little rust stains on it from the the nails are actually showing in the bottom of the boot I have been walking on them and they haven't hurt me so I just kept on walking the only thing that was the instep or the insole was completely stiff but they discolored my socks pretty good um, I don't know if these are any, it seems to be about as bad as they were yesterday, so, but uh, thanks for watching, um, more to follow on the West Coast, thanks.
Remember to like and subscribe.